Greetings and welcome. Today we're going to take a very quick look at rolling incense. This will be just basic incense rolling. The recipe we're making today is called Yule Log. What I have here is the base material of white cedar. Uh, we have two teaspoons of that. White cedar, of course, is not only a base, but it's also an aromatic. Uh, here is one teaspoon of juniper tips. That would be the green foliage that has been powdered. And one teaspoon of juniper berry that has been coarsely ground. That takes care of the aromatic components. Now we're also going to add binder, which in this case we're going to add one eighth of a teaspoon of guar gum. This mixture then needs to be combined, needs to be blended until smooth. It should be free of lumps, and it should be one consistent color. And really, for best results, when you're done with it, uh, sift it uh, so that you get a final result that looks like this, uh, very uniform in color and consistency. To this, we're going to add 2 and a quarter teaspoons of water, you might add a little bit less and then uh, add more if you see that it's needed. Uh, the amount of water that you'll actually need is going to depend on the quantity of uh, uh, humidity. Uh, quantity of humidity. The humidity in the air. Uh, it's a beautiful narrative that you get here on free videos. Uh, but it'll also depend on the moisture content of the ingredients that you're working with. Uh, so you, you may uh, always need to adjust the amount of liquid in any recipe. And you'll see that here we're getting to kind of a mealy stage, a bit like uh, when you make pie dough. It's breaking up into to tiny clumps, uh, pea-sized or even smaller uh, bits as we get it more mixed together. Uh, so you continue mixing that uh, until you're able to, uh, to pick it up as one single piece. The end result that you want is this. This is uh, a ball that's fairly smooth. It's free of cracks. It holds together nicely. It's not runny. And as you can see, it's not sticky. So this is the, uh, the end result that you want. From this, you can make sticks, cones, coils, cubes, anything you want to make with it. Uh, just very quickly here, I'm going to uh, to roll out uh, an incense cone. I'm actually measuring off a quarter teaspoon of dough. Forming this in to a rough four-sided pyramid. And I'm going to gently roll that. And I don't know if the camera can see it. Uh, but we now have an incense cone uh, that will require some drying time. That's the basics of rolling incense. Pretty simple, huh?